All right, so we are almost home. We've got the, you know, we've got our uh, course model working. We've got the server providing data. We've got the client fetching data. We have an activity started, and now what we got to do is like make it look like something. And this is one of the places where I'm gonna show you some ways to get started. But man, you there are lots of ways to do this, um, and you know, uh, you can go your own way. We don't care. All we care is that there's stuff that we expect on the display and there's multiple ways of doing this at different levels of sophistication. What we're about to do is venture into the wild world of what's called layout and you know uh, UI, right? You're just displaying information, you're not just writing code now, now you're actually gonna put pixels on a screen. Super, super cool. Okay, so how does this work in Android? So in Android, like in many other UI frameworks, there's two components, there's code and then there's the stuff that uh, the code interacts with to actually make things look a particular way. In Android, the code are these .java files that we've been editing. The layout, uh, and you guys did a tiny, tiny little bit with this on the first MP, but the layout is over here in, these, in the res directory. Uh, and what we wanna look at specifically is res layout. So this is typically where we put um, layouts for like an entire activity or an entire part of an activity. And in fact, if you look here, we already have a layout for our course, our main activity called activity main. And if we open this up, we're going to get uh, a couple of different views that we can use. We can use this design view. We can use a code view that shows us the actual XML that's used. Uh, and so how you interact with this is totally up to you. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to show you just how to get started, how to create the XML file, how to load it in, uh, how to connect it to your activity, and then also just how to manipulate some text in a simple way. And hopefully that'll give you at least a framework that you can use to start once you get to this part of the MP. By the way, kudos for getting here. Uh, this is this is fun. So let's let's do this. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create. Um, you know what? You know this is a place where it's not the worst thing to do to just copy and paste. Uh, we'll get some of the starter code that we need. Um, so I'm going to call this activity course using the same sort of, um, and, and again, this is another place where we want to add this to get to make sure that it's committed as part of our code. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to open this up. Now, I tend to like to use this view. Uh, you may not be as comfortable with this particular uh, view. That's okay. Um, now, what I'm doing here is I'm going to go and I'm going to remove a lot of the parts that we don't need. And so what I'm leaving in here is something that's called a linear layout. A linear layout is what it sounds like. It's a layout that lays out things kind of in order from, from, from top to bottom. Um, okay, so I'm going to go back to the code view. Now, what I'm going to add here is just a, a text view. And that's what we're going to manipulate in our, in our, uh, in our activity. So I'm going to say uh, text view and then layout width. I'll just say wrap content, layout height, wrap content. These are uh, UI attributes that determine how big this thing is. Um, and then I'll just uh, close it. I don't even think it needs, I think I just use this type of, yeah, okay, great. Um, and then is there a way to give it some text to start with? Uh, we'll say hello, uh, okay. And it's gonna complain about this because it says that I should do, I should you know, put this into strings or somewhere else in the, let's not worry about this for now. Um, okay, so if I look at the design view, what you'll see is that way up here in the corner, I can see, hello. It's a little small, so maybe, um, sorry, I don't want this one, I want my course. Uh, maybe if I go over here, I can figure out is there some uh, way to like adjust the size, text size is down here, um, and then, I, don't, I can't remember, let's try this. Let's, let's try, I, I just want it to be bigger. Um, what is it complaining about now? I think it's, I'm using the wrong units or something. Oh yeah, that's fine. Um, okay, so, and now if we look at the design view, I see things are a little bit bigger. Okay, that's fine. Now, here's the thing. If I wanna actually be able to edit this in my main activity, I have to give it a name. Right now it's just this text view that's just hanging out. What I wanna do is I wanna give it an ID and Android's gonna help me with this. Um, and so what I'm gonna call this is, uh, I'll just call this text view. Uh, I could call this text view one or whatever. And you might come up with better, more descriptive names for the components of your UI that you use to display the actual information about the course. So that's up to you. Uh, but for now, this is just a, 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 a little uh, chunk of stuff that we're gonna use. Okay, so, so let's run this um, and let's see if this works. So 
what, I, what I'm trying to do first is just get to the point where that course activity that I created, that new activity that gets launched when I click on stuff, I just wanted to use this layout. Uh, I want to see that hello text. And right now I don't, okay? So there's a missing piece here. And the missing piece is I've got this XML layout for what the screen's supposed to look like when that, act but I haven't linked it to the act actual activity. So let's go back to main activity, which is kind of our template here that we're referring to. Um, and you'll see this right here. And this is something that we want to, that we want to, um, this is something that we want to, to use. So we're, we're basically going to say, um, we're going to take this, this is this, uh, from the, from this data binding, um, approach, and we're going to take it over to our course activity and we're going to do this in here. Now it's going to complain because there's no binding and I have to go and get that too. Um, that is a variable. Now here, this is something I'm going to need to change a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this is an instance variable for this class. And instead of activity main binding, I want to use activity uh, course binding. There it is. Okay. Um, and so now I'm going to do activity course. There we go. Um, and so what I've done with these, and now I can get rid of this unused import. Um, what I've done with these, these several lines is I'm making this now available. I'm, I'm binding this to my, to, to this particular activity. So let's see if that helps. Let's see if that actually causes, uh, causes this to be displayed properly, which is kind of what I've been hoping it was going to do. Um, all right. And, and, you know, this is like, particularly when you're getting started with some things that you're not hundred percent comfortable with, this is one way to do things is to, to take little pieces of something that does seem to work and du duplicate them. So now I can see that I see this hello text. So I'm, I'm good. Okay. Now you probably don't want your course view to just say, hello, it's not going to pass the test. Rates. I actually want it to say something else. Um, so let's look at just a simple way of doing this. Um, so now if I start to use this object, binding dot text view, right? Remember I created this thing with an ID text view. That's one of the reasons to do it because now it's automatically available as part of this, um, this view binding object. Okay. Now this text view has, um, some things that we can do. Uh, can I yeah. So I can set text to a character sequence. Um, and let's just try this doing something like this. Right. And why are you angry with me? Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so let's try it. So now my goal is when this activity is launched, I'm going to set the text to this particular value. And I'm doing this now programmatically, right? Um, so if I go here, check it out, it works. Okay. Now, now let me kind of talk about some best practices here, but before I sort of, this is pretty much where we're going to stop. I know you're thinking, oh, just go the rest of the way. No, um, normally in this type of situation, we wouldn't give it an initial content uh, because what we want to do is we want to set this up dynamically, right? So here's how this is going to work. The course activity is going to get started. It's going to have this information in the intent about the course that it needs to display. It's going to use that information potentially after calling the client to retrieve the details about the course, it's going to use that to then populate various fields on the actual UI. Um, and so when you're done, you know, you can get a sense of, of how this is going to work. So let, let's actually just for fun, let's do this, uh, intent now get string extra. I've got this title, right? All right. Um, so I'm going to run the app again. And we'll see if this actually does the right thing, right? All right, kaboom. Uh, and let's see, I'm gonna, ah, okay. Okay, so so you can see, now I'll hit back, I'll choose another one. You can see how, uh, like, kind of where I might go with this, right? Now, here's the thing. This is not the right way to do this, okay? This is just a little example to get started. If you try to hard code these values or, or pass this stuff explicitly in this, it's probably not going to work out very well. Um, but you're starting to see some of the components here. What you need to do in order to get this to work properly is you actually need to go to your main activity. Um, the main activity needs to uh, 
uh, or you need to, to duplicate the flow of the main activity. So when your course activity is created, it should make a call using your networking client to get the full details about the course. In the callback, it should use that information to modify the UI properly. Once you do that, you'll be almost done. And then all you have to do is go back to the main activity and revisit this code that we wrote down here. And at that point, I think you'll be, you know, you'll be nailing things, you'll be full of confidence, and this won't be too big of a, a trouble for you at all. So good luck. Um, you know, I'm rooting for you uh, and uh, have a lot of fun uh, with this part of the MP. Uh, doing UI is one of those places where things start to get very real, right? I mean, you know, you're not really a computer scientist until you've actually built something that somebody else can use. Uh, and in order to do that, you have to build a UI, and so here we are.